welcome. Uh, so, today we are going to be learning how to do some modding on Spore. We're going to be going quite deep into the basics, but not very deep into how to make a mod. But, I will show you how to make a new spice. No, I'm not going to show you that. I, but, I will show you how to do several things. None of them non-self-explanatory. But, I'm going to go ahead and list off the things that you're going to need. You're going to need the Spore API, preferably. Uh, this just organizes the mods that you install and implements them into the game for you so you don't have to use the Spore Modder software, which you use to mod the game. You're going to need Spore Galactic Adventures so that you can determine whether or not the mod's even going to work. And you're going to need Spore Modder. This is just your palette. Okay, so I've already got a project here, but you're going to go ahead and select New Project. Spore Gaming Graphics, Spore Audio, or Player Creations. Any one of those will work, or all three. Right now, we're just going to be focusing on Spore Gaming Graphics. You can rename the project to whatever you want, so I'm just going to move mine to Test. Press Enter or OK to accept the mod the project. And then you've got this workplace. Project Settings basically shows you what settings there are, so you can change the project name there. You can add a remo or remove a project. You can change the packing path, so we can change it to Spore, to Galactic Adventures, or to Custom. And we can also change the package name, like how it's going to look after the package is done. Usually you want to do J patch 5.1, but if you're doing something with NPCs, I would recommend you use bot parts. Next, I want to go over the project tools. Explore mod basically, well, moves that mod to here, but you can also explore source, which will open where this is. Next, you want to come, you can press compare. Uh, not 100% sure what that does, to be completely honest. Refresh, well, refreshes the software. Import files, basically you can take mods or whatever you want and import them. So let's say we want to move in by archetype tools and you could just edit that from inside but that's that's there and that's not supposed to be there so we're just going to go ahead and remove that modify is basically you can edit the name or interior of this you can remove files by selecting that but uh, it, it will ask you and that's kind of helpful you can rename stuff which we're not going to do we can add new folders. Yes. Um, we can and we can also add a new file. Edit basically once you edit something. So let's just add a space there. You can undo it or redo it, or you can save your changes. Um, and then utilities, basically you can convert different names into hashes, for example that, uh, or hexadecimals into decimals, or decimals into hexadecimals. And that's about it. The file you can import all pro it's just self-explanatory here. Uh, you can pack and run the game. 
here. You can go with settings, which is basically editing where your files are going to. To launch the game, you're going to go ahead and change that to Core Spore or uh, Spore Mod API Launcher. You're going to change Galactic Adventures Path to, well, your Galactic Adventures Path. And you're going to change Spore Path to your Spore Path. A uh, game to execute, it would usually be this. User interface style is always default until later notice. Uh, you can also open projects from here. But that's about all the interface that there is. These hexadecimals, decimals, names, and hashes are basically what Spore is organized by. And that's, that's really about all that's there. Uh, if you want not mod Spore, you have to have a brain. So make sure you get that before you leave. Um... <laughs> Usually, though, everything is really self-explanatory, so let me just give you an example of a space tool. So you can assume that this is a military beam laser um, by the names. You can go to different, different files, such as interstellar upgrades interstellar drive upgrades. You can duplicate these so that you can make p more powerful ones. Uh, edit the buy cost and ranges. But really though, that's, that's all that's there. It's really easy to do, surprisingly enough. But yeah, that's, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, we can do another one of these if you guys need it. Goodbye.